Hello, this is Earl again. I have a very, very interesting car for sale. It's a barn fine. It has been in storage for nearly 35, 40 years. It was a running driving car when it was put in there. It's remained there with a with a tarp over it. And this is pretty much what you got. This is a 1935 Rolls-Royce 2025. It is a very solid car. As far as the body, it is a Hooper body. And in very good condition. By no means is it excellent. By no means is it trash by any stretch. You can see a little bit of damage that has occurred throughout the years. And, um, you know, I haven't even been in the back trunk yet. Or boot, as I should say. But there's a uh, Rolls Royce and there's uh, a bit of over in engineering. See a little damage here to the bottom of the rear fender. And I'm going to tell you, you people that are looking at it will know a little bit more than I do about it. I'm quite familiar with Rolls uh, and Bentleys, but not, uh, not this vintage. It has the uh, pop-out uh, windshield. As you can see, the, the hood cowl is in excellent condition. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that uh, opened up and let you look at the motor. <clears throat> the front tires, I don't know what happened. But uh, we had to winch it up on the trailer to get it out here to let you take a look at what's, what's going on in here. It's virtually a rust-free a, a rust um, chassis and body. Um, as you can see, the classic headlights, the classic Rolls-Royce grill, which is in magnificent condition, along with the headlights. There is no front bumper. We looked all over the, the storage area and we just couldn't find one. It's not to say there isn't one but I just don't know. Um, instead of shooting my mouth off I'll just say we uh, we don't know. Um, I'll let you take a look at the interior. That's how it's been. It looks awful, but in actuality, it is not. It's repair work, yes. Is it leather? Yes. Is it, you know, some foam? Yes. But um, everything is there, including the slide rails, um, to let you know and let you see what you have to rebuild. I am going to take some still pictures along with this video so you can really take a look. And I'll stick the camera many places to let you see what it is. And there is the uh, tag Hooper and Company, London. And I'll take a snapshot of this. I don't know if it's going to come out on a video. I want you to listen to the door. All doors open and close near perfectly. The back seat is in much better condition, but uh, the front seats are uh, I don't know if the sunroof was just left open, if it's uh, 
mice have gotten in here. I really don't know, but I haven't seen any. Um, uh, the back seat really is, isn't is too bad, but of course, to make it concourse, you have to redo it. And there's the locks. And you can see the bottom of the door inside. They're very, very sturdy. All four original wheels are on it. There's damage on the fender um, and all its years. I'm surprised there isn't a lot more damage. The thing I like about this is the old suicide door that someone has locked from the inside. But this is the original door panel. This is the condition of the original wood. Every bit and piece is here. Um, again, looking at the back seat. You have your floorboard, your foot rest, and your pouches back here. Again, I want you to look at the condition of the door crimps and, and so forth. It is factory. <clears throat> now the mascot, uh, the representative from the family, gave it to me. I forgot to bring it to put it on, but I do have it at my home and it is original and it is absolutely amazing. Um, I can open this from the ground and see if I can do it. Such it down here for a minute. Don't go anywhere. It's a straight six, as most of you can see. Aluminum body, also. It does turn over by hand, so it is not locked up any place. It went into the facility driving and running and in much better shape than it is now. Um, There's a tag in there. I don't know if you can see it. Read it. I'll have a still picture of that for you. And another quick look at the chassis and the inner fenders.
I think that's about all I can show you from the video. It is a car that's, uh, you don't see these driving around very often, um, if ever, for that matter. It is, uh, I think, uh, for someone who's handled as many cars as I have throughout the years, I'm 71 years old, I've been doing this since I was 19, but <clears throat> through eBay, I've been on in eBay for 19 years, um, and I have sold over 700 cars in a 19-year time frame. I've seen just about one of everything, owned just about one of everything, excluding um, Jay Leno type of cars and steam power and whatnot. But um, this for you Rolls Royce enthusiast, here's kind of an entry uh, entry level to come up with uh, if you want to take it to a concourse condition. This is certainly the one to start with because of the solidness of the, of the whole car. My name is Earl. My telephone number is 954-444-0850. My website is strangerover.com. S-T-R-A-N-G-E-R-O-V-E-R.com. You can go to that site, you can see all the Land Rovers that I've imported into the country and uh, uh, various other cars that we've done for quite a long time. You can see our facility and what we do and how we do it and who we are and why. So that's it. I'm going to snap some, uh, some pictures. I wish I could drive this for you to show you how well it drives. I really don't know. But uh, anyhow. This is Earl. I'll give you just uh, snapshots and we'll go from there.